I always talk about three parts of, of freedom, um, financial, uh, energy, and agricultural. And so um, that was kind of aligned with my own kind of life philosophy um, with that financial fitness and uh, freedom. And so I thought that this would be a good way to really express myself and just, you know, have a voice out there um, in, in the radio waves. Um, Black Money You is the name of my podcast. Yeah. And uh, to date, the most successful one was the one I did actually about life insurance. Um, and I looked at my, my numbers before jumping on here. And it's crazy how the, the people that listen to it my my uh, t my cus uh, the the people the listener yeah. who had uh, actually listened they were between eighteen to twenty two, and uh, they were all men, hmm. and so it was it was kind of, it sparked something in me like you know a lot of people um, think life insurance or or financial planning you know you have to have a lot of money or you have to be older right. you have to be a certain demographic. And that's just not the case. And so there's a need, in my opinion, to do that. Um, I'm not pounding the pavement saying buy stock, buy bonds, right, right, right. buy mutual funds. I don't represent any company. Um, I just think that there should be true educate, uh, education around that. And that's, and that's key, right? Because I think like people, people talk about it, people joke about it, or they get mad about it. Like, why aren't, they, why aren't they teaching this in schools? And it's like, there's only so much time we have. And then obviously, we're pushing a bunch of other stuff. It's not like we're not doing anything, you know? There's a lot of stuff we're trying to push. Right. Um, I think it's, it's key that you said that, like you have your demographic, right? You got the 18 to 22, which is like college kids, pretty much college age. And they're, they're stumbling, across, uh, stumbling, across, stumbling across your podcast and are like looking up something like you said, like life insurance, which like, to be honest, is something that no one tells us about, man. So like, that's why I find your, your concept of the podcast is huge, you know, because it's like, and the name alone is just cool. You know what I mean? I know, I know it's like you is like, reminds me of Miami, the you, you know what I mean? The hurricanes. It also reminds me of obviously like last chance you, right? Yeah. Last chance. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like Miami, but I, I, I get the, the whole thing behind it. But you know, the, the whole thing right there is dope. It's very marketable. The name is clean. You know what I mean? And then I think that you have experience in that field. So it's not like you're coming up with like, Hey man, let's do a podcast about, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, coffee or something. It's like, well, you never even, you know, come on. So, you're doing a podcast about something that you used to work in right, right now. We're going to talk about that in a second. And you have a lot of like, I think you have a lot of passion for that kind of stuff that, that what they call that, that uh, literacy, right? That business literacy or, or what? Uh, financial I mean, literacy. Financial literacy where people are like, you know, cause we don't even know these terms, you know what I mean? CPM, man, man, man. like all these like abbreviations. Like I'm bad at that stuff. Like, what are you talking about, man? You know what I mean? I only know, I only know DM. You feel me? I know DM. <laughs> I know, I know, uh, uh, AIM. I know AIM, AOL, you know, AOL Instant Messenger. <laughs> I'm very, you know, IG, Instagram. People are just throwing these other ones. It's like, hey, do you have this? And do you have a Roth? And do you have an IRA? It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I mean? So kind of talk about your little background. I know we talked about it in the first episode, but kind of give us a quick, like, how did you stumble across? Uh, how did you stumble? I can't even say stumble across the second time. How did you stumble uh, across that, that uh, career that you were working on and and you might go back into one day. How did you stumble across that? Yeah, no, uh, thank you for that question too, because I think that's important um, to just kind of know uh, where I started. And it's, it's a question that I got asked actually last night. Um, somebody asked me, what did you want to do when you grew up? Hmm. And I knew when I was young, I wanted to be a stockbroker. 